think about the most irritating thing in life is hearing the sort of music you hate played very loudly. And that's what happens to Monica when she starts to renovate her kitchen using Gary. Gary has an iPod containing some 2,000 country and western songs and if there's one sort of music she can't stand it's country and western. She has a lot of uh, stuff on her iPod too, but in her case it's classical. She's a fan of Mahler and Shostakovich. But it's a play hopefully about a little more than just a clash of musical tastes. It's about two people who've reached a low point in their lives. Monica was a violinist with the Sydney Symphony Orchestra, but she has developed acute tendonitis and can't play anymore, and she's existing on a pension. Gary had a brief moment of fame as a country and western star, but it was very brief, and now he's doing kitchens. Gary has one thing, though, that uh, she doesn't, Monica doesn't. Um, he has two bright spots in his life a week. He becomes Rhinestone Rex, a country and western DJ on local community radio. When Monica accidentally hears Rhinestone Rex criticizing a person who is obviously her for a rigid musical tastes and other sorts of rigidity, she is not amused at all. And the relationship between them gets very rocky. It's, um, it's unashamedly a romantic comedy. It's a form I love. It's an eternal story when two totally, apparently unsuited people finally find each other. I had great fun writing it, and I hope you'll enjoy seeing it. Mm -hmm.